uh, dis disgustingly slow. And Cloud is much faster in the air on the ground, and the disjoint is so much faster than uh, certain other characters' disjoints. And this will make it uh, difficult for Lucas a bit, but Lucas' punish, punish game is actually really insane. Like, uh, yeah. just just pray to God if you get uh, down from it on FD, uh, you're gonna take 80 damage. Minimum. Just gonna wait for half a minute and probably lose a stock. Yep. And I think Genarok is one of those Lucases that definitely has his combos yeah. on fleek. I, I'm re I'm not too sure, but isn't Genarok considered the best Lucas in, in Europe? In Europe? In Europe? I is there some? There's yeah, Captor said something before. I'm sure he's the definitely the best in Italy. Um, probably in Europe. Yeah, might I be. wouldn't know anyone else. I mean, there are other decent cont uh, contenders, but I think Genarok has the best results so far. So definitely. Yeah. But you see Mirakuru might also... So, so Ness versus Lucas. Like yes, that's I the start. And we are going to Battlefield. I've never witnessed this matchup actually. Like, I think Lucas... No, I don't know. Sure, because Lucas is also strong up close, which is Ness forte. But... Yeah. Hmm. Both have those strong aerials, which, with which they are just trying to get the hand-to-hand -hand combat. But as soon as it gets into a little bit of a range, I think Lucas definitely has the advantage. Yeah, I guess so. And I also think when it comes to punish a game, Lucas is, should be a bit stronger. Yeah. Overall, I just believe Lucas is the strongest uh, fun character. So, uh, though um, Lucas uh, will probably uh, be stronger in the punishment department and maybe in the ground department thanks to Zare and Saiki, I think Ness might be stronger in the air because he has ridiculously strong areas like up airs and actual and smash attack. Yeah, here we see it. Oh, like 40 damage. 40 damage. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna SDI that. Okay. Who we went Ness off stage, of course, always a dangerous position, but with the back air, he gets back and now he's in the advantage, but a little bit scared, just ret retreats to center stage, resets neutral. Mm -hmm. I'm also not sure, maybe, do you happen to know how long the uh, down throw up air window lasts on Ness? It doesn't really matter. Because as soon as it does, usually as soon as it doesn't hit anymore or like two hits later, up throw is just gonna kill. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We, how can we forget? Oh, that? and oh. he catches it with the down smash. That hitbox is so big, it hits below and just hits him in his big head. Yeah. And <laughs> the big head. And it, uh, Lucas shoots up like uh, shoots like three times, so it's kind of lingering in that aspect too. Yeah, and like Ness, of course, likes to recover with the double jump because he has like a good and high double jump. Yeah. But a terrible up B. So if he doesn't have to, he's not gonna use the up Yeah. Which is another area where Lucas, of course, has the same but better because he has the tap. It much better, helps yeah. so much. And his up also goes much farther than Ness's. So yeah, Lucas and got the blessing here. He's the DSC one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yes. I'm just saying what it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Nah, it's not gonna kill yet, I but think. Lucas is a heavy... It's kinda heavy boy. He's a midweight, I think. because of the head. Yeah, it's the, it's the head. Like they both have big heads. Look how big this is. Another back throw, but yeah, mid stage and it's stalled now. 140. This is very scary for Mirakuru because he really doesn't want to ah. give another opening to General, and so he doesn't General to mess this up a little bit. Both has to recover with the slow up B. To yeah. He grabbed the ledge, and that's just a free down smash. Both killed each, both killed each other with their down smashes, actually. <laughs> Ness's down smash is actually also pretty good for ledge guarding, so. That's a How well does it work against the tether? Not really. Oof, right? Oof, I guess not. tether grabs are quicker. Yeah. Ah, here we see. Ah, I, I really like to know how fast the jab of Ness is. I think it's either frame 2 or 3, because if it's frame 3, he's gonna lose most, more likely than not, because Lucas' jab is actually frame 2. Really I quick. I think it's frame 3, but I'm not, not, yeah. not 100%. Yeah. But yeah, we see Lucas just. The one thing that I had like in mind for Ness, that hand to hand, like really close quarters combat. I thought he had a little bit more of a shot at this with mm. the up air and quick jab, but um, Genrock just a little bit faster reactions. Yep. Just cleaner game plan, basically, mm. what he does in those situations. Gets the kill confirmed, and that's a very convincing game one. Yeah, definitely. The thing is about Lucas, uh, he likes to zone you out a lot with side B, Zeros, etc. He's kind of hard to catch with uh, thanks to his air drift and such. And, but the thing is about him, he's a zoner. But if you, if you get in on him, he's still gonna uh, be a tough fight because of his quick frame data. So that's a really strong character uh, on a, uh, in a vacuum. It's just that his areas are not too good, but uh, I think Ness will really struggle even if he gets in because it's like a really close uh, competition here. Oh, there was, was a really nice Tomahawk to uh, get the grab on 
again out because I think don't think Miraku did the tomahawk uh, until now. Even one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so far we see General constantly basically having the pressure up on Mirakuru. Mirakuru just trying to not get pushed into the ledge too much. Mm -hmm. Tries to stay a little bit center stage because now he's off stage. Catches the double jump. Oh, but has to use the up B to get himself into center stage. I don't think he wanted that. Yeah, but at least it's some damage and he didn't lose any sort of stage control until now at least. Okay. Mirakuru gets the grab, gets a little bit of percentage, but basically the same thing as before. It's not like Mirakuru is lost or anything, but it's just whenever they have like those, um, when they hit each other, it's just that Kenarok just hits him a bit more. It's always just a bit more. Yeah. Every time. Mirakuru is always catching up. Oh, oh <laughs> that's so much oh, damage oh, yeah, oh, yo. strong F smash. That's a strong boy. Strong a home run boy. and a half. Big head, big power. Okay, exactly. Only 8-3 on Ness, that's not quite 2% yet for down throw up there, I didn't have got down smash. Another down smash! He also is really consistent with the timing on, the up, on Ness's up B, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty bad for Mirakuru, but you know. Oh yeah, he got he got a watch that out he can on his air, he can jump, uh, uh, Lucas can jump right afterwards and uh, get the first hit. Ah, to be a buddy fighter to... Uh, Ness should have an advantage up close, but it's really not yeah. the case here. Ah, the air coming into play. Yeah, and I think that's kind of the story. Mirakuru now has had center stage for a moment, but he kind of just stood there and I feel like he's a bit lost. He doesn't have the exact plan what to do, yeah. what to hit Genarok with, what to, how to hopefully open him up. Yeah, how to get in sa uh, safety without taking too much damage. Just exactly. a big thing that many people struggle with against Lucas, I feel. Okay, ah, some, some damage. Gonna be some clean 20. Ah, oh, 25 even. Oh, that's decent. Still in the ledge trap. Ah, oh, tries to get a hard punish with the side C, but so Genarok just jumps. Ah, Genarok has some trouble escaping from the corner right now. Tried to dash attack, but didn't work. Okay. Off stage. Ah, oh, he actually here. Oh, that was a pretty uh, clever. I just move. wanted to say with this PK fire, um, Mirakuru just did so much damage and could almost already start thinking about a kill. But then he just healed back so much and we're back to even, basically. Oh, okay. Still an even game here. Ah, okay, got cut him with the Nair here. Genrock is hitting so many nares, always catching the drift away from Mirakuru yeah. with his own drift. Maybe Mirakuru will have to fade away, fair himself or bury himself to counter the uh, um, approaching nair, maybe. Because I think nair is kind of safe on shield from Lucas. Do not quote me on that, but I think it's really uh, somewhat safe. But Ooh! Uh, poor boy, poor earthborn yeah. Ness boy. He Just gets nothing you can do there. Yeah, that, 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 that was death. He gets annihil annihilated by everyone. As soon as you're forced into the RP and Lucas is close, he's just gonna get yeah. the little sperm ball, eat it up, and that's it. Like, it's not even Lucas who can do that, it's like Villager can do that. Rosalina is notorious for doing that to poor Ness. I mean, technically every character can do it, do it, do it just by jumping into it. Yeah, that's but true. But with well. some, it's just even easier. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, kind of... And 2-0, we're going into game 3. What should Mirakuru do? Like... He has to find a way past his air in side B and maybe maybe try to approach, I don't know, maybe some up falling uppers because that's kind of safe on Lucas as well. But I'm not, not sure if he will ever get in that position because he, now he got power shield for trying to approach with the backer. Yeah, the problem is for a falling upper he has to get into the air first that's and true. every yeah. attempt from him to get into the air just gets nared every time. Yeah, what I'd, say, what I'd probably do, even though I don't know really much about either Ness or Lucas, is the fact uh, that you, you see General uh, using a lot of approaching nares, maybe intercept that with a fair of yours, because there is also a really quick option. That should, that's maybe a decent idea, but I kind of think like um, Ness, I don't want to say Ness lacks the tools, but I think he has really, uh, he's kind of struggled against his earthbound companion here. And another oh. down smash at the ledge. Oh, oh, didn't okay, this time he mistimed it. Mirakuru gets back, but he's... Big lead he built up with the, all the back airs and just is with facing out basically Lucas. It's now slowly fading away. Ooh, yeah. Almost got the grab. But I think, as we as we said already, uh, Luke, um, Lucas also wins even in the close quarter department apparently because he gets the jab so out so quick. Oh, uh, he calls out the high double jump with the forward air. Oh, he messed up. Oh, surprise. Okay. I think even, even the side B is completely safe for this nest. Like he just auto uh, can uh, auto spaces. It's okay. Ah, okay. Nice falling back air. 
I wonder if, um, if General could simply. Uh, okay, never mind. We should have counted down smashes so far. Yeah. That's another one. Mirakuru for the first time in the lead now. Trying to get himself at least one game for the for the start. But he's already on 118% and that's it. Yeah. Also, can you see, like, um, Mirakuru um, also struggling to punish uh, General Rock even if he lands. Uh, like, he landed was there just now, he couldn't do anything about it. I'm not sure if it's just Nest lacking tools or maybe not being too good in the bad shot, maybe. Oh, nice SDI down. That's yeah, my guess is... Oh, sorry. Sure, sure. Continue. My guess is you need really tight spacing to with punish or at least or to get any punish on the air. Okay, did you see that? Do, do you know if that's consistent? Because he just ducked under the air. Like, I, I think Ness's crouch is pretty decent because he actually crouches, so um, not sure if... But he managed to he managed to do that, right? So I guess it's a decent option to avoid that. Maybe to avoid the side piece too, which also leads me to wonder, maybe if the Lucas uh, General gets too obvious with the side piece from now on, maybe uh, Miraku can maybe downbeat them. Maybe exactly. he just eat them. Yeah. Maybe a few times, not too much, because that made... Oh! However, oh, yeah. Mirakuru doesn't have the most time left. Oh, wait, what direction? I wonder. He, he went into a strange direction with the uh, up beam. Yeah. Tried to go through the inside and didn't quite get around, got around it and didn't get the angle. Yeah. Mirakuru, one last chance. There was the first time. Yeah. There was the first time I've seen an up beam like that because he didn't go straight into a ledge. He was just like, uh, maybe let me let me stall it out and just like fall slowly to the ledge. But he maybe miscalculated and then died. Okay. Yeah. And I also think he still had the double jump actually. Okay. Oh, Which I is why it confused me quite a bit that he just went for the up B, but he probably knows better what he's doing. Gets the platform reset. Oh, okay, 25 percent. Ah, the thing is, 25 is decent and all, but the thing is, like, it doesn't compare to Lucas's punish. Punish. Most times it doesn't. This is damn. Yeah. Okay, here we see the simple um, zero spacing. Okay. Ooh. Nice catch, but doesn't get a punish for it. Gets a dash attack. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. Mirakuru, he gets 65% and he but he he has to work so hard for it. Yep. Like if Lucas grabs you now, he's probably gonna do quite a lot. Even though I'm not sure if uh, how good the, uh, his grab game is at uh, on plats, because like you can't really footstool uh, combos. To do too many of them. Yeah. Yeah, and also. Um, yeah, Jet. Uh, Ness is kind of a hard character to combo at all. Yeah. Nice high recovery, going for the safety. I also think Ness and Lucas are one of the hardest characters to be comboed by uh, by Bayonetta, I think. Yeah. So that gives an idea how hard they are to combo. Oh, the okay. Okay, just goes for the nair. I already saw him go for a turnaround back air. Yeah, but same, same. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, approaching with the Zero and then F tilt to stuff probably another grab attempt. Oh, great pivot grab oh. to beat out the landing up air that Mirakuru tried this time, but he uh, had the answer and he killed him for it. Yeah, like you see how consistent that is? Even on Ness, on like 110, he still died, man. And he has four other kill throws, uh, three other kill throws. Basically, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I see what he was going for, but it uh, didn't work. Okay. And yeah, now it's kind of getting hard for Ness because he has to find the kill. Yeah. We but see that's exactly what Lucas wants because he has the tools to just beat him out and just push him back. He doesn't need a lot of damage. He just doesn't want to die. Yeah. We also see Himira Kuro just trying to walk and try to somehow find find a way through the barrage of side bees that Janorok is throwing out. But he... Oh, he actually... Okay. There we go. What's, what can he do offstage, actually, versus Lucas? Okay. Didn't time it well. Okay. Wow, nice. back here really strong. Okay. To stuff the ledge jump. Okay, so he did this time ledge jump into short of air dodge. Okay. Ledge of air dodge. Sorry. Okay. Ah, so hard to get in, look at that. Okay. Uh, maybe with some short-up air dodge approaches, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. Lucas can actually just uh, play the keep away game and do yeah. be somewhat pretty safe during it. Yeah, and for Ness it's just so hard to get in because he has to hard commit. Yeah, and that. the problem is it's his potentially lost game. So he doesn't want to get an even bigger disadvantage. And if he hard commits, that's just what he has to risk then. Yeah, he has to do s to make something work here. That's not it. No, that's not it. The big head is too big. Okay. Oh, 
maybe try maybe to go off stage and maybe nair or back air but that's so risky if you miss you're most likely gonna die isn't this yeah yeah oh now boy. he's already at 30 uh, 73 percent again 81 that's close to dying from down throw up there oh okay, okay. he gets the back air that was out the f smash yeah i think general was ready for uh what was was um anticipating the back air but like he just misplaced it and got yeah. the first okay and now we have a little bit of a chance here for Mirakuru. Oh, okay, that was one of the few times where Nair wasn't safe. Okay. Yeah, it really depends on the spacing and if you cross it up or not. Exactly. And also on the character, if they have a good um, option for behind the shield. Yeah. Down throw and up air. And that's and it. Yeah, the DI was 3 1. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, well played. Like, General really utilizing the tools that Lucas has in this matchup. So I, c I can't really blame him for using that. So yeah. It's just Ness. He, he has it hard out there, you know, yeah. like... <laughs> what to do? Poor boy. Ultimate is coming soon, my friend. Yeah, sure. So Agrofox is going to get some players. Um, I don't really know who's going to play next, but you can look forward to really good matches, I think. Though I'm not sure how many there are going to be, like three, four more. But don't take uh, quote me on that. So I have heard Omega, uh, Omega versus uh, Mute. Exactly. Ooh, Hard wow. matchup. That because sounds like uh, another matchup of range versus no range. Oh god! Isn't it Ryu versus uh, Rosalina? Yes. The World Warrior versus the Princess of the Galaxy or the Queen, whatever. Um, Forgot. Yeah. I forgot the law about Mario Galaxy. I don't know what Rosalina's position there is. I think she's like a queen or something, but do not quote me on that. The thing is, Ryu um, being the... His approach game, even though his punish game is really damn strong, uh, his approach game is kind of lackluster, actually, especially for a character considered high or top tier, even. Yeah. But then again, if he gets rid of Luma, he only has to get like one or two punishes because Rosalina is so um, floaty. Yeah. And Shoryuken kills to the top, so so she's gonna die early. Yeah. But of course, he has to get him. Yeah. Omika also, I mean, you can't overlook uh, that he's one of the best players, second seed at this tournament. So yeah. it's not just the matchup, he's also just a great fucking player. I don't really, uh, say, I said you don't really know what position he has in front, but, but he's most certainly um, ranked pretty highly there. So yeah. you can look forward to some good French representation here. But Mute is no slouch either, I think. Isn't he ranked two? No. He isn't. He actually isn't, but I heard of him. Maybe he was. Um, he's not really playing Smash anymore. He doesn't oh, like the game, okay. actually. Oh, no. Okay. Or not really anymore. But um, he's just basically... He used, sometimes he just signs up for a tournament, doesn't prepare at all, and um, he's still very good. Okay. And he's, he la plays a lot of Street Fighter. And he's just trying to play Street Fighter with Ryu. He I does see. basically the same things. Okay. And usually he has pretty decent runs. Okay. I must also add that I really like his shirt. Like I play, I love Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and that's that's amazing T-shirt. Let's go, mute. <sighs> we are still debating about the stage. I sure hope it's not gonna be Battlefield if it's uh, for, for Mute. I really hope. Oh, it's gonna be Battlefield. Oh boy. It is Battlefield. Oh boy. Yeah, of course. Ryu also has struggles uh, to get down on the ground again because Rosalina and Luma, that's two hits. Yep. You can just focus that. And the thing is, like with the triplets, the jungle potential simply increases, making it even harder for Ryu to um, land. Oh boy, here we see it. He's already yeah. off stage. He might be dead. Okay. Like, that's ruthless, this. Oh, yep, oh, that's it. Zero to death died. to start off. Oh no, the world will be in trouble here. Okay. <laughs> Kinda, yes. Oh, 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 I oh that, was a, that was a mean punish. That was really cool. I like that use of down smash. Like, Newt hits Luma like three times and it just died. Yeah. Like, down smash, yes, it's good punish, but then again, that's 15%. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you it's need a bit more. A, uh, one third of the stock, but can you get three openings during one stock? That's the real question. Yeah, and it's really up there, up there. 
Up air. Jesus. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have a hitbox on the up B, dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Going for some disrespect or just trying know. to be funny or whatever. Oof, oof. Like, I mean, you can't blame him. However, Mute oh. got some stuff on his own. That's the thing. If he gets in, he's gonna, like, destroy you. Ah, yeah, there we see the double hit. Yeah. Focus uh, doesn't really work here too well. And, yeah. Omika got down air, but just doesn't care at all. Just plays his game on, just like, yeah. I, I even gave you an up B. I don't, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I just oppressed you again. I just oppressed your life. Yeah. Just gonna hit A and up no matter where. Yeah. Just hit twice, you're just gonna be gone in a few minutes. Yeah, you go back to Street Fighter. Exactly. Uh, you have no place here. <laughs> but, yeah, it's only the reality. Like, basically, yes. The thing is, Ryu can't even really mix up his approaches because if he jumps, it's like, it's really Street Fighter esque because if he jumps in a direction, he, he actually really jumps in there and he has no way to turn back. Like, if he jumps in, he will go in no matter what. And if the player, the Rosalina player, Akahomika here, if he knows that, he can just pace. Uh, his area is like back air, uh, near up air easy. Yeah, and um, the classic Ryu counter pick. <laughs> okay, oh still had his okay, jump. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> Omika doesn't have a lot of time, I think. He just wants to get this over with, wants to get to play doubles. Uh, he's trying to place the bear here. Okay. But the focus doesn't work here. No, there's yeah. no way. Um, Rosalina has so many multi hits, even without the Luma. Yep. But yeah, this is already danger percent for Rosalina and Luma. I guess he can use the uh, down B to to, um, to maybe uh, switch his position in, in the air, so he can mix up his landing maybe. Yeah. Like, why is that down air so strong from Luma? Because of Luma. <laughs> it's just because of Luma. Oof, okay. So like one up tilt into up B, uh, the true shuriken will actually work, yeah. I think. <laughs> we can see him going for it, for the elbow oh. death. Yeah. Okay, got got saved one more time. We see still it. alive. It's just insane to see like Ryu if he gets in disadvantage once, he wake doesn't up get DP. back. Yeah, they wake up DP actually. <laughs> Go back to Street Fighter. Yeah, <laughs> would have worked there, I guess. Wow, <laughs> another he actually not died. landing DP. <laughs> he had no rage. He almost died. Oh man. As soon as Homika has Luma, like if Ryu, if uh, um, Mute gets hit once, he doesn't just he, he can't get to center anymore. Like, yeah. Look at that. Okay, he got okay. Over ambitious F smash from the Hom from Homika here. Oh, mighty feet. Smash just out for five seconds because of all of the hits done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay. Jab jab into up tilt at two decent. Oh, oh my God! It gets the rage up there. Yeah, and I feel like we can see Mute. He kind of he has a plan and. He kind of gets some stuff, but it's just so hard. It's, it's hard. so it's hard. hard. And the thing is, he act real, who's supposed to live to 180 to, to rage, to rage up you. He dies to 60. This, this, should, this shouldn't be. Okay, we get the color switch from Mute. What did he pick? The yellow one? I think so. Oh, man. Okay, he goes back to Battlefield. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I think it's FD was better. Yep. But he's gonna try to prove us wrong here in this game three. I think if I was mute, I'd, I'd probably pick a stage which which didn't have much space to run around with. So uh, Homika can't really run away all the time and wait for him to approach. Uh, no! Okay, it was really important to kill the Luma yeah. here. Ah, man. Crucial miss. Okay, jab. Of the situation. Okay, let's. Oh! You what? However, mute still what? got a lot of punish. 71, that's like. He doesn't care. He doesn't care he anymore. He doesn't care. He, yeah, let's I, go. I think he's like, I'm down two games. I don't care. I'm just... Let me play some Street Fighter with aerials. Screw Let's strategy. Just... Screw it. I'm just gonna up you. Ah, right, here we go. Let's go. You might be tall, but you see those muscles? Yeah. I also think Komika might be kind of scared now. Oh, yeah, like you have to. After that, and another back air is off stage now. He like tries to down smash him. Yeah. Okay, that's a miss input. Like I think that's that's the thing in Smash too. Like if you do, if you pick some really risky options that are that won't land properly, but are really mighty hits like F smashes, spamming F smashes, the opponent will have it in in their mind. Like oh, and because of the hits done on Luma, he dropped Shield too early, gets the kill. Tries <laughs> to go for it down there. Big brain Rio player here. <laughs> Let's go. Come yeah, maybe me. maybe the answer was to rush down Rosalina after all. Yeah, the, to rush down and up B. Let's go. That works. It works perfectly. Maybe not perfectly, but it works. Okay. I can smell it. Oh. <laughs> I smell it. <laughs> Still alive. 
Gets the focus. Oh, I thought maybe some uh, up air or something. But it didn't work. And oh, he gets sure it. And that's his stock. And for the first time now, Mute is in the lead. Oh, boy. Triplats working after all. Uh, there was a there was a DI mix up really smart from Homika here. Yeah, but he didn't get the punish for it actually. And now another grab, just two grabs. Ah. Why do you get two grabs against Rosalina? No, oh, he misses the punish. That would have almost been the stock. Yeah. Like I would I would believe it if someone said oh, Rosalina died to 40. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kick in <laughs> the face. You don't care. How does he do it? Why does he hit him? I don't understand it. I don't need a plan. He's just hitting him. I'm the World Warrior. Show you! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Another <laughs> roll DP <laughs> this time. Omika gets the shield and just punishes it. 77%, however, that's scary. That's, that's really lot. scary. Yeah, like uh, up till the uh, uh, true showing is gonna yeah. do it. Oh my god! <laughs> Luma for the rescue! Luma the sword of death. Oh no! How did it not connect? What? New okay. drops the combo. No! And he drops another one! No, you can! No, you can! That's a no, you can! Okay. Ooh, ah. Almost! <laughs> and Luma is back. This is scary for um, both. He does it! He just does it! He has no shame! <laughs> do it! <laughs> <laughs> just do it, man! Oh no, 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 no. Just do it. Air dodge and the up smash still alive. Ah! What? what? He went for a neutral B. Hmm? Whoa! Okay. I Joe, you can let's fucking go! F oh no! And the double hit, oh, of work. course, okay. charge F smash. Omika does the comeback. 3 0. He had to, he was shivering for a little bit. Had uh, some um, drops of sweat, but he pulled through. Yeah, like 3 0. Like, actually, this, the last game was really entertaining. Like, it kind of looked like he really switched up, his, uh, like, Mute really switched up his game plan and said, like, okay, listen, it doesn't really work to. Uh, Try to only space uh, space the move so you can kill Luma and maybe get in. He just said, "Okay, I have to use the really strong tools I have," and it did work. Like down, like shuriukening through stuff. Really, really entertaining. Like he had no shame, man. He like upbeat, and then three, three seconds later he just upbeat again. And Homika must have been kind of scared. Like I, I can't believe. I wouldn't believe if someone said he wasn't scared. Oh boy. Uh, P E W. No, because that's who we are gonna see next on stream playing against Noah Daniel. I know Noah Daniel. He's a fox from Switzerland. Um, the guy that always has the longest train rides to every tournament <laughs> in Switzerland. Oh boy. Um, plays fox. Like, kind of the most technical fox, maybe. Mm -hmm. Tries to go for a lot of footstools, off-stage footstools, just random footstools. Like guess combos. Um. Does he have a neutral though? Why did I ask that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess <laughs> I at guess. the start of the game it's neutral, but. Okay, okay, okay. I take your word for that. And the other We're one. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Who was the other one? Pew. Pew, okay. Oh man, Pew. May I don't want. I don't want to spread misinformation, but maybe it's a. Is it a Sonic? Nah, nah, wait, it's not a Sonic. Can't be a Sonic. I mean, we, had a, we have a lot of Sonics, but um, I don't think so, but I don't know, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Sonics, we have four Sonics here. Yeah, I think Sonics with the X, then we have uh, Waves, Hedgeon, then we have Hedgehog and Luna. Exactly. Oh, no, four strong Sonics. Yeah. Not just some Sonics. They're certainly, um, people know them. Yeah, that's definitely something. Ah, we see the competitors get to the stage. They are taking their place. Fighting their mighty battle. Oh man. Someone is hyped already. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mirakuru did, so did something cool because Carpador is pop popping off. <laughs> okay. Okay, they are still doing the tags. Never mind, he finds his tag. The third, uh, the one, the, the third most down tag. <laughs> yeah, like, bleh. like, do you know, it, do, you probably know that already. If you, like, if you input your tag and then it just disappears in the middle of the other tags. Yeah, like, that's a bug from the Wii U. Because, like, the time, sometimes it just jumps back in time. Yeah. And then tags who aren't used don't ever get the new time tag and they are basically in the future, so to say. Wii U is stupid. Okay, Fox Ness. Oh, hard it's matchup. Oh, it's a Fox. hard matchup. Uh, for both. For, for both. Yeah. 
Like Fox has the tools to mess up Ness and he has the speed in neutral, but Ness backdoor kills so early because Fox is uh, so light yet yeah. such a fast hauler. It just pulls him down and out. Yeah. Um, all, and all the aerials from Ness just do such a good job at beating out Fox and I do not like the starter pick for Fox. Smashville, because there are crazy platform extensions for Ness on this stage. And don't you really die super early to the back throw here? Like super, super early? Um, you can actually die at zero to the F throw and on the platform, oh, oh, of course, and on at the ledge. You always die early, but even more, okay. I guess. But yeah, maybe Noah Daniel knows something more. Maybe he just really likes Smashville. Yeah. But so far, um, Pew just... Oh, okay, good attempt. Because both can also mes message each other up at the in offstage, I think. At, yeah. oh. not, not sure, what does Fox do against... Oh, oh man, oh, yeah, that, wasn't, that wasn't too technical, sadly. But, um, I guess what? he wanted to fast fall and get a landing up there, because landing up there actually has crazy setups. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he <laughs> just gets oh, a grab boy, on the Let's landing. And 32 on Pew, this might be a fast set if we keep up this pace. You know what's funny? Um, he back throw, back throw him and killed him, and his tag is back throw. It's actually back throw. Wow. <laughs> That's um, where he self-reflected. He understands what he's doing. <laughs> <Sorry>. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> embrace who you are, man. <laughs> Noah does it too because his tag is just Noah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he also embraces who he is, yeah. I guess. <laughs> who off stage? Oh, interesting. Um, sweet spot to the ledge mm -hmm. after the fair. I feel like that was the biggest possible magnet hitbox he could have gotten after the fair. Yeah. <laughs> Very safe recovery, actually. Um, what do you think can Fox do against Ness offstage? What would you do? Like, does he, what tools does he have that are worth going for? Um, what I usually do is I kind of stand at the ledge and okay. try to beat out the double jump. And as soon as they don't have the double jump anymore, just get one single hit of fair and they're dead. Okay, they're one single hit of fair, they're dead. Just one of the drag down hits. Okay. If they don't have the double jump, they're dead. Okay. Oh. And if you are in the lead of a stock, of course, just jump into the up B to shorten it. Yeah. But that works with everyone. I see. Tries to go for an up smash. Yeah. Oh, no, Daniel kind of starting to find a footing, but it might be a little too late here for this game one. Yeah. Oh, almost got the up, gets the up air. Yeah. Ah, back no fraud Daniel. election. Woo -hoo! A little bit too scared. The back fraud <laughs> takes the first game. The back smash will platform extension. That would have killed at like 70 or something. It happens. Two stock. I also really like, I also really like the way um, Pew, he was a Ness, right? Yeah, the way yeah. Pew uh, used his uh, uh, backer at the corner. He was really uh, applying a lot of pressure and getting a lot of mileage of using that move because Ness backer is actually really, really strong and really safe yeah. on shield. Overall, Ness, all the aerials have such a good use except down air. Mm -hmm. Nair, so quick, good hitbox. Back air, so strong, good hitbox. Up air, up air, quick, strong, and good hitbox. Yeah. And fair is the combo tool. Okay. The stream is uh, there. Uh. Thank you. Okay. We are going into game two, town and city. This is the stage I like more than Smashville for Fox. Oh, he already starts off better. He already did better than in the last game so far. Yeah, I tries to go for a fair footstool, but the angle uh, gets oh no. punished dearly for it. Yeah, fair footstooling into the double jump. That's extremely hard, especially because you lose to fair, you lose to air dodge. Yeah. So it's a bad option in my opinion. It's, it's a very hard read with. I mean. I guess good uh, reward, but the risk is just... You shouldn't hit it. Yeah. If we're honest, you oh. shouldn't hit it. Every like smashes. Okay. But Town City is really... Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think Town and City and Battlefield are the places to be for this matchup in, if you are Fox. And Battlefield probably bans. Gets a down air up smash. The thing is here, so much, uh, Fox has much more sp uh, space to move around and maybe avoid Ness at uh, directly fighting all the time because Ness is really strong up close, as yeah. we have uh, said. Yeah, Fox kind of trying to ah, get okay. those quick um, run in, get a few hits, retreat, and then run in again when the Ness doesn't expect it. Yep. Getting don't some don't eat those heavy hits, the up air and the back air. Getting the uh, okay. I think the fox is the is the best for the fox to like get him in the air, then up air a few times, and then maybe just keep the adventure and not go uh, overextend to not maybe eat a exactly. narrow or something like that. If you overextend against Ness, you just die. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes. Very good. Um. Yeah. Try to catch landings. That's a weak point for Ness, uh, because power shielding the up air is not the hardest of things to do. Mm -hmm. Nice stall with the down B, keeping himself alive, because up air right now. Yep. That's that head that. looking mighty strong. 
There's actually a lot of things that can kill him now. Like back throw will kill, back throw will kill, death, yep. back throw again. Another one. Another one. DJ Khaled, man. Another one. <laughs> and another. Yep. Very convincing to all so far. Yeah. Uh, no, Daniel has to change something up. I think town is the right stage to go. And it already went a bit better, but... What I'd like to see from him is, uh, I, I think, I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I've missed some Tomahawks, which Fox is really good at because he's so insanely fast. Like, he, we saw um, Noah land mainly with, with aerials on Ness, like trying to land, but he always get pu uh, got punished for that. So maybe he should he should try to mix that up. Okay, here we go. Oh, only 14, that's nice. Okay. Okay, okay let's jump here. Yeah, Noah is really kind of... I feel like his his approach is al always a bit telegraphed. Yep. Yeah, he goes for a lot of that full hop down airs. Of course, the reward on those are is humongous. Yeah. But like, you shouldn't hit him in neutral. I think this is if you hit him, you're either extremely good or your po your opponent just tries something that doesn't work. Yeah. Back throw almost did it already. Like the thing is, no matter how good the option is, in most cases, if you overdo it, it's it's gonna become a bad option exactly. by default. Yep. <laughs> back throw it again. Except oh. for the back throw. No ma if you do it often, it just gets better and better. He killed him four times so far with yeah. back throw. Oh no, wait, would you do that? That's so scary. Oh no, please don't. Oh my god. He's fucking dead. Okay, no. What? Why Pew, did it. Pew tried to go for something cool. It, it was and some somehow the Firefox just went through him. It didn't hit him. Like, damn, what the heck? <laughs> in before Noah planned this. Okay. <laughs> that would have been. But that the was so risky. Please don't do it again, Noah. Don't near it. If, if the nest is like 30%. Okay. I like the pressure he applied onto uh, Ness lying on the ground, but then he just he doesn't quite pull through with the punish. Yeah. That was lacking <laughs> a bit. Okay. George is the F smash and Hugh just calmly releasing ledge, going for an up B, getting safely back onto stage, yeah. and now percents are even. We also, we, we've also seen like both trade. Like, if both trade, then Ness has the favor, I think, because Fox yeah. is so damn light. Like, back throw's gonna end me. Kill now. Maybe yes, not. Yes, sir. Okay, oh never my mind. god, okay. Close. Ah, oh, he's dead, maybe. Not quite, but he doesn't. Oh, there's no jump. That's bad, that's, that's bad. Oh, no, he. That was the weirdest back air hitbox ever. It didn't even stage spike, it just hit him onto the stage. Yeah, like, let me help, let, let me help you. Oh, just be careful, do not overextend. Oh, he's, he's gonna nail you up there. You will either wait or normal get up. I think he's a bit too far. Maybe you should go a bit closer? Like, he can't really punish... Okay. No! Why would you... No! Why? No! That's I guess he was confident in it. I respect it. Because if he had the timing, it would have worked. But of course, we see the huge risk. That's just another back throw. Five out of six. Yeah, five out of six. Five out of six. Like this. You go player two. Like the fingers. The up smash would have killed. The, but the thing is, it's it's like a dual die situation, and you have to consider, it's dual die. You are two games behind. If you die, you actually lose. But if you get the up smash, you get one game, which means you're still uh, losing. So it was. I don't think it was, it was worth the risk because the the up smash would have would not have won the set for for Noah. Okay, yeah. and now. Ah, too bad. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt you, but. We are going into the probably most interesting round one match. What's gonna happen here? Two top players of Switzerland, two of Switzerland's finest. Ah, we see Kepler and Smuff, huh? Kepler and Smuff, exactly. Uh -huh. Kepler, um, the one and only Bayo main in Switzerland, basically. And very strong Bayo, even had some international top eights at like European majors or yeah. at least nationals. Smuff, um, his mo big moment was when he beat Fatality in the round robin yeah. at Momocon. Both very strong players. Both um, very focused on their punish game because, of course, Smuff playing Fox, Mario, and Captain Falcon. DK too, actually. He plays okay. a lot. And Luigi. Okay. He played them against me, uh, friendlies. Okay, but I don't think those are his tournament ready characters. No, I don't think so either. I think he's gonna go Fox, probably. Like, yeah, like he said, he picked, he, he picked DK. Never earlier mind. <laughs> wow, what are you, what are you, villager, falcon? Okay, yeah, it's the, he's having fun. <laughs> like, he told me yesterday when we played, um, like, Captain Falcon is like a love-hate relationship, but he's the only character he's stuck with for all the entirety of Smash 4. 
like he switched and dropped so many characters, but Captain Falcon was always there. Yeah, and this Captain Falcon is also it's, he's very lapped out. He has all those setups going. But yeah, I <laughs> I told him before that he should not play his round one match because he has to play against Kepler, and he was like, no. And I was like, what? You don't want to play in stream? And he, he he just told me, no, I just didn't know I had to fight Kepler because I really don't want to. Yeah. And like, those are two of the very best of Switzerland. Smurf got upset in pool, so they have to fight in winners round one. He lost to Unragon, right? Exactly. I think it's a really good Franco. Uh, Franco. Franco. Falco from France. Okay. Yeah, there was an amazing set. Game five, lost hit, basically. So Captain Falcon versus Bayonetta, like, I wonder how the matchup really is because I, I can see Falcon getting destroyed if he gets hit, but I can see the same for uh, Bayonetta yeah. because Captain Falcon's punish game is really, really strong too. Okay, interesting. He lets Kepler go to Lilith, actually. Kepler, of course, a Bayo that is, he basically does everything it takes to win, so he has no struggle just uh, stalling on Lilith or whatever, just doing what it takes. Yep. And, and he gets an opening. Oh, nice SDI upwards, yeah. that was really good. It just pops out of there. Yeah, that's a, I, I think that's the optimal SDI in that case. Like, as hard up as you can. Yeah. Oh, the thing is, Lila makes the needles, uh, needles, the bullets really strong because they behave like needles at times. If the stage tilts uh, in, the, in the direction you really don't want them, like they really shoot in a straight line and just hit you from everywhere. Which is kind of why it confuses me why Smog was okay with going to Lila in game one. I yeah. honestly don't see which stage would really be worse for him, except maybe triplets. But yeah. Of course, you can basically ban two stages, so I don't see what he banned, basically. Oh, he got the jab drop. That's so within. Like, like I know Smuff Ooh, likes. That's a punish. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Goes for it. I know Smuff likes to jab into mix up, but I wonder if he ja jabs Kepler again, if Kepler will maybe up be right away after the jab, because uh, Smuff wants a punish. Ah, that was a really unsafe dash attack. Bayonets is actually like, pretty good, because, uh, not really not really a good move per se, but the thing is, um, if the opponent expects a... Oh, what? Just bear to in the face, like, Bad neutral B. Bad neutral B. Yep. Because those thin bones are just gonna get crushed by the big hand. Definitely. And now we have a little bit of rage on this Falcon, not quite in kill percent even. Like, I could... This is very I can actually imagine like upper into me being it's, uh, being killed now. Okay. At the ledge, 100%. Oh, nice drift away. Decent drift. Still yeah. has the jump. Oh. Ooh. I think he could have gone for a drop down double jump there, but he just wants to wait a moment. Ooh, gets a follow up into the knee. Wow, he just hits like four up airs. I don't know how he found them, and he. I think he reacted to the no tech by Kepler. Kepler slid off. That's why it got a trade with the nair, but he hit the knee. Yeah. If that's and the of case, then it's impressive, but... Nietzsche, that, that, that's gonna break some bones. Yeah. And that's gonna take game one with a two-stock, actually. Yeah. Like, the thing is, uh, Captain Falcon, if he get, if he gets up air on you once, like, there's a good chance you up air you, like, four or five times. Like, and yeah. there's little thing you can little you can do to escape that. It's a rea reality we are facing here. And yeah, this match is actually... <laughs> it's crazy for me still to have this in winner's top 32. Yeah, that's really early. <laughs> this is, like, in Switzerland, that could be grand finals at any tournament. Yeah. Except for if Destiny is attending, but that's another story. Too sad he's not here, man. <laughs> and one of those players is going into losers. You don't want to be in losers. Nah. It's basically what this means. Okay, we're going to town and city. Wow, okay. I can see the stage being good for both because Falcon, who is one of the characters with the highest run speed, yeah, um, has gonna have is gonna have a lot of speed to move around. Gets combos. There we go, three. Oh, oh he yeah, was going he for the read. Yeah, definitely. Oh, up no. B, up he B. did not oh. SDI hard enough. Uh, up was. Yep. Yeah, but it's also scary to SDI up there. Yeah. Ooh, he almost broke the shield. Wow, yeah. that was scary, small. Man. It's so scary to SDI up is what I wanted to say because town is low and if you SDI up and you pop just a little bit too high, you're just going to be dead. Yeah, sure, but I think... Oh, <laughs> goodbye. Wow, he just... <laughs> hard reads the ledge jump Doesn't care, and man. gets the stock smuff. He's, he, he's he's hard. He's going hard in. I think Kepler is really he's giving us a show. Yeah. I think Kepler is really trying to test the uh, test um, Smuff's patience with the down bees here, but because so far he threw out like two or three witch times and it didn't work. But maybe that's valuable information for later. That's a big combo. Oh, that's like a three uppers again. Four, five. Uh, that's oh, gets witch. Oh, gets the bats within. 
The clutches uh, uh. and oh, can I find the up air? Yeah, he didn't. Have, okay, he didn't have a jump anymore to connect the up air at the end. Okay, got watch the up air. Both are back. Oh, that's a really ballsy uh, side beat because you can easily shoot right That's the F throw. Oh. Oh, F throw soon gonna start killing. Oh, oh. gets on back on the stage, gets back out. Bad, yeah, he oh. dies off the top. Okay. Smuff is up 2 0 against Kepler. That's not what we expected because Kepler, his results are constantly good. Smuff doesn't play a lot, he just comes here and goes up 2 0 against mm -hmm. Kepler. Do you happen to know uh, what the set record is between them? I don't know, but I think it's. At least in recent history, positive for Kepler. For Kepler, I see. Oh, that would be a big step for Smuff. Smuff has been getting upset at the last few tournaments hard. Oh, he did this, uh, the Unragon and before too. At reset or yeah. something, for at example? At reset, he got upset by a Link player from Munich. Oh, okay. Or like Link, I don't know exactly. Munich, what, do you, who? Do you have a Link in Munich? Uh, I don't know. But damn, okay. That would be a, quite a statement. Oh, no! No jump, he lost his jump. Uh, but the thing is, he actually, <laughs> I actually think he could have just SDI'd up and he could have, would have been safe because that's not true. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not true. <coughs> the problem is, you want to mash jump because otherwise you're just going to fall back in. But if you mash jump, you can also just lose it. Yeah. Which you don't want to happen. Yeah, I think you have to SDI up first and then jump instantly. Final. Ah. But then again, we saw Smoth just deleting stocks and getting his stocks deleted so it doesn't really mean a lot ah okay oh actually a delay down tilt that's pretty cool yeah down tilt ah, sends away the great uh, angle that's that's not it okay he's he's going so heavy in there i think he feels pressed he feels kind of pressed to do so because he's so far behind yeah. oh yeah so far up and still so far behind in the same moment Oh, Doesn't actually quite surviving. kill. Great DI. Okay. Oh, offstage is really bad for Falcon. Oh, nice uh, smart recovery going up to avoid the Nair or something like that. Lingering there from Bio. Mm. Oh, and that's Catches the jump and 98% like... <sighs> Smuff can very well do this. This is very scary for Kepler. He doesn't want to get grabbed. Yeah. Falcon he doesn't want to get hit. Ooh! That's like damage. Okay. Two up airs. Oh, nice. Kepler landed behind him instead of in front of him. Ooh, oh boy. He actually got the air dodge but yeah. didn't quite pull through. That would have been it. Kevin Fang is such an explosive character. No, no matter how far behind he is, he can just come back at times. Smuff is getting so many reads on Kepler. <gasps> the sour spot down there kills him! And Smuff 3 0s Kepler! Kepler in losers after winners round one. Like, what? What was that down there? Like the sweet, the sour spot was actually much better than this. He uh, this game. Probably the eyed out. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. sour spot down there. All those sour spot down airs are just crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like it's weird. We are like Gandalf is the same. Like uh, his sour spot down there also kills at the to, to the side at like uh, minus ten. Same for Ike. Like you get the sour spot, but it's essentially still a sweet spot. A sweet spot in a sense, you know. So yeah. Man, what power. Bounty Hunter Falcon. It's funny because we've never seen Captain Falcon fight actually. He's just he's just part of a dead franchise, sadly. Yeah. No, okay. No, no problem. It's good. Got him! Who do we have here? Isn't it Smuff who Got him. just beat Kepler? Jesus. Yeah, man. I'm still, I'm still uh, shaking. Holy shit. Like, like, tell me about the down airs. Like, like what what devil got inside you to, so, to, to destroy so many souls stocks with down air? <laughs> like the souls for down air, like he died at 70 or something. Yeah, well, uh, uh, that was very fortunate. I was expecting to make the comeback, to be honest, when I saw him at 0% anyway. Like, I thought with rage and the fact that he, he was getting hit by many up airs, uh, I could actually t ma uh, make it back anyway. Mm -hmm. And then, well, there are some weird faces against Bayonetta where you know he, she's not gonna hit you, but you, you don't have many tools as Falcon to, you know, combo break or anything. Mm -hmm. So I just went for the downer. I just went for it and I know that, you know, might kill if she's off stage, for example, mm -hmm. or, or just there might nipple strike and so that's still good damage just to strike fear and worked. So you basically um, calculate, uh, so you, s you thought like the risk reward, risk reward ratio was in your favor. Yeah, not only that, but I... 
I, I really literally had no other option than that move in that particular I see, option. I see. So I wanted to go aggro to not let him breathe too much, and I went for it. That's okay, it. Yeah. and that, yeah. Yeah. Like you see how many knees I missed because of. Bad within. Bad within. Yeah, I was uh, like I three was or mad. four or I something. I was, I was mad. I was mad, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I made the comeback as well because I was, yeah, I, I, I knew I was go going to get biot, so, you know, uh, dying as a percent, this, this kind of stuff is going to happen in the matchup. So, uh, yeah, trying to keep the mental strong and. Yeah, uh, and go at it. Like now, uh, like anyway. Oh, sorry. Do you want to add something? To uh, you? Nothing too important. But I want to say, like Captain Falcon, even though he's like behind, like, like his killing and comboing power is like so big, like you can always make a comeback yeah, with the right awesome. reads. Yeah, and that's with the rage even more, definitely. Yeah. But now, na now uh, let's go to the next set. I'm not sure who we are. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's we the have now. Um, I believe we have still two sets to go. I qualified for top 16, so I can definitely cast this one. I'm so Yay. glad, and I'm. Well, I'm very glad. I actually didn't think I would make it so far. No, like, well, no. <laughs> really, really. I wasn't confident. I was just like, yeah, let's have fun, you know. To be honest, I've talked to Agrofox just before, and yeah. he told me like uh, the last tournaments, like there were quite a few upsets for you in that way. Like yeah, uh, we said, but this time, like that, that seems to be. Um, I think for you, it's a really big step because like you got, uh, you kind of underperformed in the last tournaments, but then you beat Kepler right now. Yeah, yeah. And the set record, the, it's, is it in Kepler's favor? It is in random favor. Random favor. Yeah, usually it's like he beats me once. Usually he beats me more than I beat him. And yeah, it's basically explosive, I guess. And last time we met, I, I, I won 3 2 at a weekly, I think. Mm, okay. Uh, it's, it's basically like just an explosive matchup, really. I see. So, well, we have Crash versus Lancelot. Is it Lancelot? No, it's Pew. Is it Pew? No, I. Is it, isn't it Luna or something? Yes, yeah, Luna. Luna. No, <laughs> they all look the same. You all guys look handsome, that's why. <laughs> all right, top 32, loser sides. Loser, uh, Luna versus. Bubbles came in Crash. Let's see what Crash has uh, as an answer to this awful, awful matchup. Yeah, like I think like um, catching Sonic will be really difficult if you're a Bowser because you strive off um, grabs, but Sonic is so fast, he's not going to give you many yeah, chances. This is, to yeah, so. this is so hard. And, and you cannot, you don't really have the tools to stop Sonic uh, using his safe tools, except those oh that are man. very ballsy. You know, you have to be ballsy and, and go high risk, high reward. But Let's see, let's see Crash actually making it work so far. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. This, this kind of percent is rather okay to be uh, oh. as Bowser. Mm -hmm. or, oh, that's not a wrong grab. We were talking about having no... Oh, oh, no, oh, smash. Oh, oh, oh. no sweet spot, though. This is not gonna kill, but... Yeah. Yeah, striking some fear in Luna's eyes. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> Jesus, and he's now it's as well. No, he's gonna kill him. Oh, that's gonna be an up upper and... Oh. No. <laughs> No oh. upper, an actual futsal. He's waiting for the others. Is now such a fast-paced gameplay coming out for Crash. Oh no, vegan Sonic in trouble here. Okay, all right, Luna finding finally a way uh, to get back on stage. Crash, again with that down there, trying to break L Luna's momentum, but uh, he's getting a just, just a tidbit greedy, I guess. Yeah, he's maybe uh, trying too much. Okay, he didn't land with down here. Down mm, but that's gonna be a back throw. That's yep. definitely gonna kill. First start going for. Our Swiss player BG Crash. Like people know, up throw up air is really strong, but don't forget Bowser's back and F throw. They're really strong killers. Yeah, early. both of them. And but so does back air from Sonic. Exactly. And that sour spot, even that sour spot will kill. That's not uh, a sour spot, man. That's mm. not a sour spot at all. It's, like <laughs> it's so early and it lasts so long. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's a lesser sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a lesser sweet spot, guys. Okay. All right. And we're back to an even game, really. Crash finding one grab and. Yeah, making it back in the percent again. Yeah, we're trying to break with the RB as well, the uh, spin dashes of Sonic. But I can I can see now Luna is adapting his timings just a bit. Yeah, like every time Crash got a turnaround grab before, now he's waiting it just a tick bit more and he's not getting grabbed. And as I say that, he's Crash grabbed. actually gets a jab to grab and makes back all those deficits in percent. Like the thing is in the, in matchups like these is, okay, you're Bowser, you're big, you're fat. Sonic is really fast and it's going to hit you many times. Sonic's going to win neutral much more, but you are much stronger when it comes to punishes. So you have to stay cool, even though you get like 100%, because all you need is two grabs and you'll probably be even already. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, that's the thing. You, yeah, even, the thing. you, you, you don't even mind percent that much, they give you rage. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's just, you change the dynamic. That's why we say that Smash 4 is so... Um, kill... How do you say it? How do you say it again? Um, you have to realize what are your kill, uh, your win. Conditions. Win conditions, thank you. That, yeah. uh, that term just didn't come. This ah. is uh, a game that really revolves around... Oh, that forward is going to take it. Yep, ah. yep, that's a 1-0. All right, I was trying to talk about win <laughs> conditions, all right? And that's the thing. It revolves around win conditions so much that percents for some characters don't even matter that much. Yeah. You just need some stuff to happen and you win. And that's it. And, and if the other win conditions 
don't uh, are hitting you a lot, then both of you're not playing the same game. You're not playing the same game at all. Yep. You're, you're just trying to get two objectives down in a very different manner. This yeah. is the, one of the beauties of Smash 4, I guess. Exactly. That's You have uh, two per, uh, completely different um, per perspectives. Like, you have the big guy who will get beat up and profit from the rage, maybe, and you have the fast guy who wants to stay safe while dishing out the damage. Mm. A nice chase by Crash actually getting that grab into neutral there. That's so much damage. 30 damage or something like that, dude. Oh. Okay. All right, oh. not a Whoop. turn around Come grab. Come to me. Be oh, no, oh, why would oh, you oh, air dodge? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Right Whoa. in the mouth! That drop kick was nasty! Like the thing is, he up threw uh, him in the last game and he got up smash charged. Like I thought Luna might maybe think, okay, maybe not air dodge, but he did it again. So I hope he will remember that. And not air dodge again, the up throw at like 60. Please don't. Okay. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I can tell he's not gonna air dodge again. Yeah. But now, now that he's not air dodging, I believe uh, mix ups like up throw into back air and this kind of stuff are gonna happen as well. You know, Bowser has some answers to this kind of stuff. And yeah. Crash definitely has some answer for Luna at the moment. Building up the lead. Oh, Another yeah. turn around grab with an up throw. And okay, oh, he yeah, went okay. for it all again. But, but that's not just yet what Crash has got. Another up B. And Whoa, <laughs> side nice B. Up. Yeah, very nice command. Like grab we, there. Like you see, um, Crash just being really confident right now in his decisions and his choices. And he realizing, like, okay, I'm going to eat some damage. Okay, it doesn't matter. Like, you are still at 84 and going to die to the next up throw. Is Lunar gonna oh, die from okay. the next up throw? I think he's out of this percent, oh but my not God. out oh of the up smash kill God. percent. Was it a neutral Ooh. B from Luna? Was that why he he went to the air? Yeah, it looked like it. Looked like either a short hop thumb, something, but I don't think it was that. Yeah. He was most likely a charging uh, neutral B, oh God, which neutral is B. weird. Yes, it's really weird yeah. and risky. Definitely, might might have been like a, a spin dash that went wrong. <laughs> okay, That's I don't know. Yeah, but crash anyway. Uh, even if that was a spin dash or something like that at the beginning. Uh, he definitely had it since the uh, up, up smash has yeah. so much armor. So yeah. if, he wa if he wasn't shielding, he was dead. <laughs> he had the right positioning and the right move, that was it. Boy. All right, game three of that. Such is it 1-1? One, one? Uh, yeah, it is 1-1. One, one. It is 1-1. One, one. Crash uh, just crushed his opponent just yeah. before as well. <laughs> I thought it was 2-0 <laughs> for some, some reason. Yeah, same. I actually thought the crush was 2-0, but uh, it's 1-1. One, one. Okay. Third game, 1-1. One, one. Now we're on Tannen City. Definitely a scary place to be. For Sunny, but but it is Luna's choice. It yeah. is Luna's choice to go against uh, Bowser's up up throw up air options to risk getting grabbed and die very early just to get uh, a little bit more comfortable, mm. a little bit more uh, stage control. I mean, okay. oh yeah, yeah, left screen. Okay. Sorry, but the thing is, uh, I think like uh, Luna prefers a stage that's really flat because he can keep um, Bowser in disadvantage. Ooh, oh backer. my God, you died. Okay, you didn't. Okay, like I think uh, Crash probably banned FD. So he went to town and city. Yeah, yeah, totally yeah. makes sense. I would agree completely. You need to have some. Oh, oh that's gonna be a down big kill. Oh my god! <laughs> you felt it. I, I saw your body shook. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I felt it. I, I think everybody in the room felt it. Yeah. Like they saw the, that was coming. They saw the lag. They saw Lunar despair in his eyes. Yeah. That was a kill for Crash. Now let's see how Crash take this lead. And okay, that's gonna be a grab. And neutral okay. are connecting 28 percent. Holy oh, hell! Like this yeah, is. Like we actually see the uh, crash trying to catch uh, the side with jab mainly jab and pivot uh -huh. grab. Uh -huh. Yeah, that Maybe. totally makes sense. But 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 Luna's answer right yeah. there, landing up here into an up beat, not out up yet. Yep, that's gonna be a very nice way, nice clean way to get the start. Now crash is fishing. Like I'm no expert at the Bowser Sonic matchup, but I think maybe Luna should try more often to run at the opponent, maybe with shield or something, or maybe not excite me so much because it doesn't seem to work too well. Well, the thing is that he, he should definitely look for other mixers. I would agree with that. But if he goes in with a shield, did you see how many turnaround grabs that's Crash true, that's got true, in, well, even yeah. on spin dash? Yeah, that's so true. So if the timing is less strict, I think Crash is going to benefit from that. So I think Luna has to limit himself some options there, which means that Crash has the uh, upper hand when it comes to Yomi. I mean, uh, okay. I mean, uh, I basically, don't really okay. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I was trying to say I think Crash has the upper hand in the um, in the exchanges so ah, far. Okay. In, the, in the neutral, I don't have much better way to explain it, but. All right, let's see if Crash can clutch it out. Oh, that's gonna be a grab. Uh, is that gonna be an up throw? And yup, yup, yup. This is the Koopa combo. Up throw, up air is gonna grant BG Crash. That's yep. third game, a 2-1. That's what Luna has to accept. Like, he will get so much damage on Crash, but Crash, he only needs you four times. To, yep. he to grab you four times and that's it. Ah, okay. yep, uh, that's a rough one. That's, uh, that's what we were talking about, you know. Town and city is an awesome space for Sonic. You have space to run and to uh, dodge the grabs just 
Keep the stage control, play very safe as you should do against Bowser. Yeah. But that's also a very low ceiling. So that's going to be a hard one for, uh, for yeah. Luna anyway. But but you you said that uh, he probably banned FD. Crash doesn't seem to mind that much going to into FD. Uh, he might be confident now yeah. because yeah. he wanted to uh, turn in cities. Okay, oof. Yeah, oh, oh, that's so damage. much damage. I don't think the four there was necessary there, but Crash with, uh, with a good presence of mind actually. Oh, and a nice presence of mind as well there. Just not getting the up smash just yet. Luna shielding that down mm -hmm. air. Able to get some damage back. But Crash again with that command grab. 88% on deck on Lunar. He really uses his uh, si you, um, Crash uses his side B command grab really um, conserve, uh, rarely, but in a good way. So I agree. I will agree. And that down air. Yeah. yeah, Luna is gonna be, uh, is gonna need to respect the down airs and the down bees a bit more. I've seen some some sloppy landings from Luna that really uh, yep, yep, really yep. got caught him off guard. That's gonna be a back throw though, not gonna kill, but Crash is now in a bad spot. Alright, dodging the sprint, dodging the back air, but now this is where Sonic shines. Maybe he should go off stage, maybe try to with the back air as he... Okay, as I said that. Okay. Exactly. Crash dodging them well. The thing is that you can reset it very well with Sonic as well. Just just like you saw, back throw him again. Yep. You know, that's exactly. kind of soft. So that's still a scary spot to be in as Bowser. Alright, Crash makes it back, he's gone though. Nope. What's okay. the mix-up? Wait, but it's okay. Alright, that's a spring on the face, Crash. Trying to find one grab, some anything really. A four there would kill it almost so anyone much. on the map. Yeah. Luna is gonna need something more than oh, the just oh. the. Oh, oh okay, okay. That didn't look like it was about to kill, but yeah. but that's gonna I take it. I actually expected the Nair instead of her, but it worked as well, so okay, yeah. we take those. Okay, there we go. Alright, Crash now fishing a bit too hard for the fair. Oh, running oh. a little bit hard on Luna. Luna is, is like, I'm out of here. It yeah. just ran off stage right away. But that's yeah, gonna be nice, 53 nice. damage. Very nice Catching combo from Luna, actually yep. building up his lead. And that's going to be the spring. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, oh. that's going to be it, though. Very nice. Very good presence of mind from Lunar. Just trying to catch ca Crash off, yeah. uh, off guard there. We also seen um, we also seen this time Luna really abusing the strength of the of Sonic offstage. So he really utilizes so much using so many bears, which linger so long to catch uh, to catch Crash, and make him crash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you did you really say that? Yeah, <laughs> I, did, I did. I actually did. But it worked. So it did. It did. It did. It did. <laughs> All right. Let's go to game. Is it game five? Yeah. That's game five. That's game five. Lunar versus PG Crash. Can we have some cheers from the crowd for PG Crash and Lunar? Cheer, let's go! What I really want to see from Lunar here is to um, to respect the landings from Crash much more because he is Sonic and I don't think he should get too, get hit so much by so many strong and slow attacks, you know? Mm, I agree and I, I I think that might be actually matchup knowledge lacking because, you know, you yeah. should not get hit by... Uh, if you shield the first hits of the, uh, of the uh, up out of shield, you should not get hit by the rest of it. This yeah. is something you cannot afford. These, these are the free punishes you need on, on Bowser. So if you're not able to punish those cleanly, this matchup is going to be hell. And yeah. that's basically what's, uh, what's ha been happening uh, for Lunar this whole set. And okay, okay. That down B looks scary. It always does. It does Lunar yeah. was so far away, but I was still wondering <laughs> if something was going on. I was wondering whether he would drop down and just uh, just hold down and just catch Luna down there and then kill him. That might be a oh my god. Okay, no two frames. Crash coming back with a get up attack. Oh now my god, fishing for the grabs. Oh god. Luna has to be... Just let him come to you. Okay, he actually didn't shoot it. Mm, that forward was almost it. I think 134 rage. Luna has to be very, very much aware of this kind of stuff. The back here is not gonna kill off the top just yet. Like I'm saying... Bowser is a fatty. Yeah, 20% more on Luna. I think that's after upgrade range. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Yeah, oh, for the that, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. That was really smart. Okay, oh, no, no confirm here with Jaffer. Oh, okay. We, here we see um, Crash trying to land. Okay, he lands safely. Luna didn't pursue him too much. Okay. He's still going for Jab and um, Grab for uh, trying to catch um, Luna. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh my that god. back here is the 20% you just talked yeah, about. That's now true. Luna is in a very serious, seriously tight spot. Crash is gonna go for the. Oh, that was such a good opportunity to grab, but oh, Crash boy. missed it, and now he's back in that bad spot. Very nice setup, actually. Not getting hit by that back air, making him live just a little bit more. Trying to get that up smash. I like the risk reward attempt there, but Lunar is still on. Is Crash gonna be able to keep the keep, keep that stock yes, and take? No, that's gonna be. Oh, that's not gonna be the up air I was expecting. Crash again trying to catch Lunar off guard. All right, Crash, what do you have? Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's not throw. No, no what are you doing? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. That was so close. The stream killed it, confirm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, that's going to be oh, another. No, no, no grab. Very nice up B. I must say, I have to respect the ball Luna has because going for neutral B in such a such a situation, that's mm. so scary, dude. It, it is, it is. 
Oh, that's again a scary situation. Oh, Luna not no confirmed. Yeah, still no confirmed for Lunar. This Just is this is the percent where it's kind of hell. You you have to <laughs> find a stray hit on Bowser, but you really don't want to be in his range. You really this is the only thing you don't want to be in your force. This is your mom telling you to get up in the morning. Yeah, that's <laughs> Exactly that. I think like up throw should do it though, or back throw it. Oh, oh, there's gonna be a forward throw. Is the rage gonna be enough? No, Lunar no. living, dodging the back air, crashes now the one. Oh my god! At the <laughs> edge, in disadvantage, no, is Lunar I gonna be able to... He's gonna get the punish, but still no kill confirmed from that. Lunar, oh, okay, that's gonna be a grab. The no. back throw is Lunar. Yep, it's Lunar still living. And that's no, gonna be a forward the edge guard! 200, Actually, 232 damage crash finds the kill on Lunar. I can't believe he's still alive. Like, I actually, I, I, I'm really not a Sonic expert, but I think he should really try to grab more because he always punishes with Sonic. Mm, yeah, that's gonna be a back throw. Yeah, okay, okay, go, back. No we reset punish. the game. We are back to an even game. Our hearts can't stop beating so fast. Okay, this careful. is the last stock oh. of that set. Yeah, finding a grab already. This is very good for the Swiss player, BG Crash. Finding just the good damage he needs early game. Uh, nice, nice weapon, but 60% with one uh, conversion here. Oh, oh that's gonna be. Whoa, whoa, uh, all right, that was spot down B. Sour spot down B, not gonna be a lot, but okay. still enough to put Luna in a bad situation. Answering very well, though. I think uh, that okay. might, yeah, that might, that that's a very difficult percent. Yeah. I, I think like a jab, a jab into uh, a grab or anything like that, or a little bit more rage is gonna solve it if Crash manages to get a grab. Oh, that was yeah. very tight one. Very nice. Yeah, I think he would have survived though. But the, the thing is. I'm pretty sure Luna's gonna jump much more in the air now to oh, not grab. Oh, okay. again, that was so that? close. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Okay, just running away. Oh my god. Oh, the back, avoiding the back air somehow. Crash still putting the pressure on. And that's gonna be a grab. Is the upper connecting? No! Nair! Oh, what? Okay. Maybe he was. That was a cystic Nair for sure. That was a C. He, he's gonna curse his controller for he's days, man. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna curse his controller for days and years. If he loses, that is. He's still in there. Oh, oh in the dash attack. Dash Who First dash time. attacks? First Who dash time. attacks with Bowser? I don't. I don't allow that. I don't. No, no, no. That's gonna be a dash oh! attack. Yeah. Luna is gonna take that absolutely amazing set against our Swiss player, Babos Gaming. Like I gotta Crash. say, to be, it was really hype, but I'm really confused about some certain options they did. Like, the, why would you? Why did you beefy the up and then why? I, I was really confused. Like the yeah. set was really hype, but there were some really weird options. Like I, I agree. I agree. I think both of them were shaking. Yeah. Like spaghetti. I, th I think likely. so. I think that was uh, most likely uh, that because, well, like we said, Luna was most likely not that well experienced in the matchup. He left uh, too many openings, uh, too many easy openings uh, for. Crash to get the down Bs, to get the down S, and all these kind of stuff that you really need to avoid. Yeah. But also, uh, on Crash's side, we had some sloppy stuff that could will cost him the game in, for example, that BFRB. Yeah, that BFRB. Uh, like, <sighs> too bad, like, it didn't have any reward to. Maybe he just uh, overshot, over was overshooting or something. But I think I kind of like that uh, Luna, in the end, managed to adapt to, um, to Crash trying to simply uh, run and grab him. All the time, a jab, a jab his side B approaches. I mean, he still got grabbed in the end a few times, but uh, it wasn't so much that Luna uh, died. Like uh, it was yeah, affordable. Yeah, no, I Barely. agree. I agree. That oh was boy. still good. And, and yeah, well, oh. I mean, I, I'm I'm impressed by Lunar's adaptation, but also I'm very impressed um, by BG Crash's plan as well, because he executed the plan so tightly. So many turnaround grabs on the spin dash, and that, that is, I mean, he's Bowser, but that's still a very tight, tight timing. They Definitely. actually got down, and, and he basically got carried by a very strict plan in the beginning of the game, and that was a very impressive uh, thing uh, to see yeah. as well. I was really surprised to see uh, Crash getting so many openings on Luna, especially mm. in the first two games. Like, he hit him with the down air more than once. He hit him with the down B more than once. Just, just picking those ballsy options, but making it work. So what are you gonna see? Oh my God! Okay, it's gonna be yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot uh, more ballsy, mm. even more ballsy over there. Yeah, really this, <laughs> is, this is uh, Swiss gameplay for you. We're gonna have Funky versus Silent Gaming Waves. Oh when I was boy. talking about ballsy, I wasn't talking about the Silent Gaming dude. Nope. Yeah. Uh, I was talking <laughs> about the the crazy Pac-Man and uh, Gaming Watch the guy that uh, always goes for nutty stuff. Okay. Uh, we were talking about goofing around and that stuff. This is the guy I'm talking about. So he's the, he's the goof, right? He's the goof. And I, he actually got some very legit stuff going on, but still he has, he has <laughs> this need to have fun during the game. It's hell to play a set against him because he's just going to have so much fun kicking your ass. You know, okay. <laughs> he's just, just going to laugh a lot and that stuff. It's very hard to, uh, to focus, but uh, 
Anyway, yeah. let's see how he fares against Waves. And That's the, most likely a difficult matchup. What do you think? And the thing is, yeah, and the thing is, um, so what? I, I'm not too uh, worst in the matchup, but I think um, what Sonic should do, if possible, is to make it so that Pac-Man does not have that much space to throw around his uh, items, like. I think, I don't know if it did it with you, the commentary, but we've commented on Pac-Man and we said, like, if Pac-Man has the fruit in the hand, if he has that item, then it might be a bit difficult, but you can maybe intercept him before and maybe not allow him to um, make too much use of his hydrate, etc. Like, yeah, pester him like that, yeah, with up, mm. his, up airs. It looks like the screen dash is very useful to get rid of her items as well. Yeah, true. He can also just F-smash it, I think. Like, it does enough damage. I think you need 13 damage. Oh, yeah, just like that. Yeah, 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 makes sense, makes sense. That's gonna be a uh, hard denial of tools for uh, for Pac-Man if that's well used. Actually using the tool against Funky here. Like, we see Funky actually trying to get something started here. Oh, F-smash so stale that it didn't one-hit the uh, Hydrant. Interesting. Okay. Gonna be a down B. Just a little bit of zoning, trying to... Ah. Yeah, the okay. thing I think is the, the one of the best things you can do against both characters if you don't really know the matchup is just Ooh. push him for a while. Oh, that slap is gonna take the first knock though. It was stale too. Slap. Oh, it was stale too. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's Sonic. It's Sonic's fault, my friend. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. It's Raymond's fist, dude. <laughs> the range. Oh boy. Okay, the water actor intercepting the combo here. Well, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of good stuff coming from uh, from Raves. I mean, this is the usual wave stuff, but he's so good at escaping pressure, just like that. Yep. Just uh, uh, picking the right defensive options, not even trying to hit you back. He just wants to get get the hell out of here, exactly. reset the neutral, and then put his pressure back on. Like, uh, play his campy plays like he knows so well. Exactly, because why would you have to fight a per uh, an opponent who is losing? Like, he's one stock ahead, and he's almost lapping in in percent, right? Mm, so, and, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that plus the fact that you really want to respect Pac-Man's tools. Like, he's not that good of a character, but... As any Smash 4 character, if you let him use his tools, yeah. he's gonna be good. He's gonna be very scary, right? So you just get away from that. Yeah, just Definitely like that. RP, that. get away from that. Reset the neutral and get caught by the neutral and almost killing. Yeah, that's what that was what I was saying. Oh. And oh, oh, he did all right. He, did he reverse the up B and try to land with the back uh, because he did not snap the ledge? For no, he did not. He did not. I I very much wonder why he went for the BP up B. Uh, usually when they uh, reverse it, they try to catch with a back air, right? Exactly. Yep. But that didn't look like it. Oh. Or maybe that was re instant regrets or something. Oh, he didn't go for the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. The third trampoline jump. The only one who's not good here right now is Funky because he's actually at the verge of dying here. Okay. All right. So nice shield in the back here and nice use of the hydrant as well. I just hope that Waze uh, doesn't lose himself too much in uh, um, killing the Hydrant because I think like Pac-Man sometimes want you to focus so much on the Hydrant that they can hit you with the other stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they basically are so used to people getting rid of the Hydrant. Well, they have a game plan for that too, just so that people stop doing that. Yeah. It's not like the most effective plan, but it is still a very effective uh, plan to uh, uh, misdirect your opponent, really. Oh, it's so scary to see a Pac-Man just see dropping his uh, item all the time just to wait for a moment to fuck you up with the uh, combo. Okay. Oh! Mm. Mm. Ah, and yeah. that forward smash on the roll, getting that tech chase right. Very nice yeah. stuff from Waves and both of them obviously laughing. They're having a good time. Like oh. in, that, in that situation, I think the roll was not too... Um, was a bit ill-advised because yeah. if he rolled back, he would have probably gotten thrown. But he would not have died, you know. Uh, if yeah. he, but because he rolled in, he put himself in F smash range and uh, thus died. So uh, maybe there was a bit, a bit of a miscalculation on the reward risk part. Absolutely, but I yeah. would agree with that. But uh, those rolls in, uh, they usually happen. Not usually, but a lot of them happen just because you, you input forward at some points and it actually buffers it. Oh, yeah, which I is know. very much makes me very salty when it happens to me. Same. But uh, same, same. yeah, might be a, a conscious choice. It kind of looks like he was actually trying something else and ended up rolling in. Yeah, this might actually be the case. So I'm not saying he did it on his will, but maybe. Okay. All right, back to it. Fun <laughs> Funky uh, able to stop the spin dash with with his... Uh, is, it, is it a fruit? Is it a fruit? Uh, fly let's call it the flying fruit. All right, let's call it the flying fruit. Yeah, let's call it just that. And okay. during the, the meantime, we're trying to explain that there is a flying fruit in, in Smash 4. Funky actually finds a way to put 91% oh. and they get a lead on waves. This is going to be a, um, a reversal of playstyle, really. Because, uh, well, you probably know the dynamic. But Sonic, he likes being ahead. He likes being uh, in the lead. Uh, and being able to camp your, his opponents, making him approach. But now that he's oh. not in the lead, now that he's he not in the, the lead, he needs 
to take some risks. And Funky is going uh, is gonna love it. He just has some fruits and traps. And every time he sees waves coming in, he's gonna throw something weird at him. <laughs> but that slap, though, almost killing him, and way back nice. to an even game. Like it's, it's funny enough because um, the first game, uh, the second game, went just like the first game at the beginning, like with Race having a huge lead. But we've seen Funky; it's actually super even right now, and maybe uh, just making up with, uh, with his tools, um, with his usage of hydrant item, um, item game. And oh, I, I actually thought the the stunning fruit would have stunned uh, yeah. Waves. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in the room actually yeah. felt it, but. I think that was just a little bit miscalculated, actually giving Waves the opportunity to back throw there, and that's going to be enough to take that first star. Like I think um, if Funk has to recover with Appy again, I think if um, if Pac-Man jumps two times on the trampoline, it, it becomes like uh, red, I think, no, yellowish. If you jump, uh, if you jump the last time, if you jump the second, uh, the third time, you can steal the last uh, charge of the trampoline, and if Pac-Man jumps on it again, he actually gets in free fall, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good way of giving him. He has to use that move. It is. Well, that's the thing. He usually doesn't need to use that move, yeah. really. But that's gonna be. Wait, what was it? What was that? I, th I think I blinked and I missed it. But still, very nice. Uh, Funky uh, finding oh. a way to get that first dog and uh, get back into that game, really. Yeah, let's get still an uphill battle. We see him struggling, chasing waves around. Now back to the corner. So we see uh, Fox is still doing trying to um, always trying to escape from the ledge by using his uh, mm. air again, like here and there. I hope uh, waves will catch up on that soon. Okay, charging the fruit or oh, hitting with the F smash, trying to hit uh, the trampoline is a really good tool to get the uh, opponent off Pac-Man. He's just waiting there. Like, I think Wave shouldn't really approach at that position. Because oh, he, that's so much oh, damage! He's actually still winning. He doesn't have to uh, charge in on uh, Funky, I think, because he can just let him... Uh, that's, uh, that's who he's going for. Risk, uh, risky tools, like uh, neutral being on this guy or stuff. I think this is not the usual gameplay we're seeing from Waves, and this is out of his usual game plan. So, yeah, this is not the strongest zone where Wave is in. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh nice. that's going to be an untakeable with the back here. Very nice from Waves, taking that second game as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a class. Spark thing, but, but thing he just didn't miss time. But I think, yeah, yeah, yeah it was. I, I am never clear about the untakeable situations because that one very much looked like an untakeable. We do saw the animation. Uh, I've been okay. told sometimes that it, something can be untakeable and 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 I still have the, that animation. Yeah. Right? Ah, okay. Some 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 people told me that if you see the others right after the the uh, the mistake, that's the sign of an untakeable. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm okay. not sure to be honest. If somebody in the chat has the information, please correct us. We suck as commentators. <laughs> Do our yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go for game three. Silence Wave versus Funky on Final Destination. This is looking kind of one-sided. I mean, Funky is definitely uh, finding the good tools, but he's lacking in terms of clutch. Yeah, he's lacking uh, in terms of of kill power, really. Yeah, he's getting a lot. Of, he's getting quite a lot of damage, even if he gets close via jab into uh, into like fair into Nero, what we've seen before. But the thing is, uh, he can't really close the stocks out uh, unless he somehow gets a hit with a Hydra uh, off stage. So I think he really has to try to find a way to consistently seal out the stocks, maybe using the key more because it's such a potent tool at uh, closing out stocks, you know? I agree, okay. I agree. We, we didn't see much of the key. I yeah, wonder why. Enough. Usually Pac Man's just love that key, love that go to go for that one. Uh, I can see why he's, he, he's going for the flying thingy at lower percent because. That's so much damage and a good tool to stop the spin dash. Mm -hmm. But the key is most likely stopping the spin dash as well and kills. So why not? Why not? Yeah. Maybe he does just doesn't fight the time because Sonic, uh, because Waves doesn't let him. But I think he can maybe charge a bit more. Like, yeah, just like yeah, that. There we just go. Like yeah. That. And now no! we have the key, and no. that's gonna be a back here. No, he committed just a little bit too much no, to he get that key. Yeah, he lost the key to victory, my dude. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. All right. This is a flying fruit drop. I think it's still re okay. Nice as much, but it's it's really weird because why would why does Waves approach so much? I think it's working right now, but it's really weird because unless he knows the matchup really well, I wouldn't really uh, approach that much. You know, <laughs> this is how you escape pressure. Beside <laughs> <laughs> me away. Let's go. Ah, uh, last. I find I would agree with you, but I find the whole game very weird to be honest. It's fu it's a funny game, definitely. It, it is. It is. It is entertaining. It's this kind of. Oh, that's is this gonna be no, oh, no, 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 no! I was expecting no an up smash or something, but the hydrant this time putting itself in the way of Funky. Like now, I know what you mean if you, when you say uh, with Funky games are uh, goofy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand fully. <laughs> uh, oh, that was really nice. I, I didn't even have time to see it change to the bell, so that might have been the objective there. Uh, 
Okay, nice hydrant's pressure. That's gonna be just uh, just a hydrant in the face. I think Funky would have preferred to have the bell yeah, neutralize the opponent. But I think pac man's really like that. As soon as they're up, they're like go, uh, gonna 100% down with a hydrant. Okay. Oh, we're throwing the apple away. Like you don't like healthy stuff, I guess. Okay. Mm. And that's gonna be a neutral air on shield. Oh, oh, Wave oh, oh, oh. enjoying himself. Oh. Okay. That's, a Ooh. that's gonna be a forward air, and that's oh, a kill. This is a 3-0 for Silent Gaming Waves. A round of applause for our beloved Sonic player. <laughs> okay, that's it. Is that all? <laughs> Alright, alright. I think this was all the games for today, but maybe...